the National Coronavirus Command Council has decided to enforce a nationwide lockdown for 21 days with effect from midnight on Thursday, the 26th of March. This is a decisive measure to save lives of South Africans from infection and save the lives of hundreds of thousands of our people. We need to adapt to the lifestyle, to the new norm. I think acceptance is going to help us to fit in into the situation where we are right now. I'm not seeing COVID-19 leaving us anytime soon. I'm seeing this is going to be here to stay and we're going, we need to learn to survive with what is available. At the start of the lockdown in the first 21 days, we saw a lot of human rights violations starting to occur again in the country. We saw it happening in Joburg and we saw it happening here, right here. But here in Cape Town, it even was actually more heightened, I would say, because this is also one of the areas where you find a lot of unhomed sex workers, meaning that people that are, do not have shelter and stay on the streets. Um, and when the lockdown started, a lot of those people were forced into, to go into Strandfontein. A camp had been set up. Before lockdown, it was quite smoothly going as I tried to look after my siblings and my family back home where I'm coming from. We didn't meet uh, challenges of we were getting every day. Uh, besides that, the clientele was kind of challenging. The business was also slowing down because of uh, the nervousness and uh, the fear of uh, COVID-19 since the word was already going around in people's attention. After then, it was kind of very challenging. Uh, the clientele, it was not available at all. The work itself, it just went dead. It is very, very bad for me because as a person who stays outside and lives outside, to we usually say this when we go out to go scarrow, you see, to go look for clients and stuff like that and go to wait on the road and stuff like that because it, it depends what which way you work as a sex worker. I work on the road, so I work on the street. If I would go to my usual corner, I would have to wait and wait and wait and for two hours or switch two hours is a very long time for somebody who's a sex worker who knows her clients who usually come at a certain time and then they don't come knowing those things and knowing that it is also the lockdown even our clients are even scared of us right now so the unflexibility of movements uh, makes us our work very difficult i work online and there was no clients available for any sexual services it was about flirting and uh, people also they were very lonely in indoors, not in having the attention of uh, sexual entertainment. Me traveling myself to a client's house, it was very difficult. And even those uh, advertising apps were or dating apps where we normally get clients, they were also as you log in, the sufficient precautions which you, need, uh, which you need to follow and accept that you are not going to invite anyone coming to your house. It's just about chatting and flirting. But since I was working online, I also have online banking. I did actually shift my services into another level of doing things because I really wanted the income. They were actually uh, swiping the money into my account then we can flirt and we can do video, um, uh, uh, sex videos and also flirting online. And I feel neglected, especially for somebody who sleeps outside, who's a sex worker, because our job is being decriminalized here in South Africa. The government has not 
do, ha, has got nothing to do with sex workers. They always talk about something else. Sex work is here and it's here in South Africa and it happens here because I have got no say because I can't go even report to the police or wherever. So I got no way to to ask for help. For me, I thought like our voice has been taken from us as we were not recognized in any benefits from the government to look after us as sex workers. And it has been so difficult for us to end meet because we didn't have anywhere to go. Uh, we only survived with organizations of uh, human rights organizations, giving food parcels and assist us in other things which we really uh, needed. The likes of TB, HIV, they were delivering also our med our treatment, like people on the RVs to our fellow sisters who were actually failing to go to clinics, hospital to collect their medication. And a number of sex workers actually have been defaulting uh, because they were not accessing those services. And most of sex workers who didn't have addresses and uh, it's put uh, sex workers' lives in danger. And uh, I think because of sex work not being decriminalized, it was such a big advantage for us uh, not to take uh, the opportunities of other South African citizens has been taking and being looked down on the work which we're doing. So it was kind of very difficult for us to survive in, in, in the lockdown. So we're experiencing double stigmatization, whereby we're being rejected by our family. Our, our, some of our family members, they don't accept us. And now to this COVID-19, it's actually uh, raised up or increased the stigmatization uh, situation in our lives. It, it has a big impact. People trying to be, protect themselves uh, become so selfish in their own spaces. It makes us uh, quite dis distancing ourselves with our fellow our family members and also with our community members as well.